Bugger. So this morning I have just received some notification from the Little Peppers and uh, Pinky Pepper has some pretty cool news. Child, um, you were talking to me last night. What were you talking to me about? That my you was probably going to have babies. Yeah. And what did you notice that would make you think your you was about ready to give birth? Well, her bottom, when they get, when they're ready to give birth, their bottom gets kind of swollen and gets pretty big, so the babies can come out. And um, then her milk bags were pretty, pretty full, and they were hanging down. And what did I say last night? Um, what did I say about quantity? You hope she had twins. All right, let's check this out, huh? And I found two twins. So. These ones here are twins, the Jacob sheep. And, and this is our second set of twins this year. Oh, wow. If y'all would just head through that way, just to kind of flush them to the right. Yeah, and those two mama So these are our Shetland Finn sheep. You can see how tiny they are, wow. Those things are like wild rabbits. Walk it nice and easy, kids. And then this one had one earlier. So yeah, look at them go. Look at those little babies. Oh, there's baby sheep everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're okay. Just walk it. Just walk it. Wow, you called it just like that? Hey, mama. It's okay. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, you. Hold on. Mom! Oh, buddy, it just walked right up to me. Yeah, you did. Wow. So, so curly. Okay, well, let's set it down so we can go back to mom. Hey, guys. Just let it be. And I guess here would be the site of the birth. You can see a lot of blood in the air. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of a friendly little bugger. We don't have any miscarriages this year. Very nice. Sometimes if you breed them too early, they'll miscarry the first one. But we did hold back some of our yearling does from being bred. They're like baby llamas or alpacas. They look like shadows, kids.
I'll tell you what, kids. They were healthy. They were born last night, early this morning. I mean, they're all dry right now. They came out just fine. They're little and cute, though, aren't they? Yeah. And even they're walking when they're little. Yes. And Pocket was walking yeah, when they, they were little. And a lot of animals can walk, like, right away. It's people that take a long time to learn. Like your little sister. Mm-hmm. She'll take a while. Yeah, and Red Pepper said that, <clears throat> she said, I thought she only had one baby because the other one looked like Swing because I only saw the little Wim's head. Very cool. I wonder what we're going to name him. That's a good question. Because I had a little lamb, her name was Blackberry. Right, so, and the moms are... That's Raspberry. And raspberry then the one is the that mom. Spring, and then the other one is Dandelion. Yeah. An unnamed -y little uh I could name one blackberry again. And blueberry. That's it. that's right. Hmm. I could name one gooseberry. Huh? Gooseberry? Is that a nice name for a ram or what? Uh, uh cool. Well, let's get let them enjoy their first day of life a little bit. Okay. Let's be the Pinky out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper. And I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.